How do you remember what you can't remember? That seems like one of these impossible questions. How do you remember what you can't remember? Can you? Can you not? I'm talking, of course, about remembrance. It's Remembrance Day. And talking particularly to the younger people, none of you remember the war or any of the wars at all. There are people still alive, very elderly now, who were alive during the First World War, or at least for part of it, but they were tiny children, babies. So even if they have slight memories, it's only very little. There are plenty of people who remember World War II, but not you, not me. I remember the Falklands War. I was at school then. And there's one person on our war memorial in Invergowrie who died in that conflict. How do you remember what you can't remember? Behind me, there are poppies, lots of them. Somebody gave me this as a, something I could use at remembrance. I can wear it as a scarf. It works as a tablecloth. When I've done a service in a nursing home, we can use it as a backdrop for this. There are many different ways I have used it. Poppies. We wear poppies. You might be wearing a poppy at the moment or you might have one. You might have done things in school to try and remember. Because one of the ways we remember is by telling the stories and passing them on. Telling the stories about the people that were involved. And these names, whether they're names on the war memorial out here, or outside the church, I mean, or written on the way into the park, if you ever stop and look, if you're going to Invergary Park, or in your school, you might have uh, what's sometimes called a role of honour of people who served and sometimes those who died as well in the wars. And sometimes we look at these names and we want to get to know them. I wonder who they were. I don't know whether you've ever done that. Maybe taken a look at the names and thought, oh, there's someone I'd quite like to find out about. Keeping a memory alive, remembering what we don't remember, but other people have told us, because that's how we remember. And of course, at this time of year, we do things. Normally, we'd go to the War Memorial and have a service there. But we can't do that because we can't gather in that way. So we remember in different ways. During the church service, some of the children are going to take out the cro crosses that the children generally leave for each person on the War Memorial, each name. And we'll do that just in a quiet way rather than in a formal way. And I'm sure a lot of people over these days, over this time, will take their time to go to the memorial and just have a wee think. Other people do it in their homes, stopping, being quiet, as I'm sure you've done as well, whether on their doorstep or whether just in their house. There are many ways to remember what we can't remember. The important thing is we do it. So you might want over the next part of the service, to make a poppy. If you made one yourself, you could be doing that. Or putting several poppies into a wreath. Or designing something that might help you think about, who are these people? Who are they to me? Are they important? Do we remember them? And do we remember, just for the sake of remembering, because we're told we have to do it? Or do we remember because we want to make this world better? that wouldn't it be fantastic if in your lifetimes you remembered so well what had happened before that there wasn't any more war? It might seem like a big thing to do, but actually it's up to each of us. Keep remembering, do the things we're asked to do around. Think of these poppies. One year we'll think more about what poppies are and I'm sure many of you know. Think about them and commit to making our world better as you do it.